G'day guys, here to talk about the range of Daytona gauges that are available from PBM. So our online store has a range of Daytona gauges and we've sort of narrowed this down over the years. We've used just about every brand available and we've found these Daytona, especially the Valona series, to be the most reliable, robust, and most importantly for what we do, adaptable speedometers for your custom motorcycle. So they range from really simple speedometers, speedos and tacos with dash lights included, right up to their more complicated digital dash setups. These things include voltage functions, temperature functions, oil temperature, a bunch of functions that you would find on a more modern bike to make it easy to swap out. A lot of the time, we don't use those functions on the bikes that we build. We try to simplify everything that we do. So a lot of the time on our classic bikes, we'll go for the smaller, more simple uh, speedos and tacos. And then on our scramblers, more modern stuff, you'll see the Daytona Cube and the Diva multifunction dash. And of course, in between, we have a real favorite of ours is the Daytona Valona W speedometer that has a speedo and taco function in a single circular dial face and also includes your dash lights. So this is really good if you have a front cowling or you just want a symmetrical setup in the center of your dash. Um, and then if you want, you know, a smaller, easier, you have the Valona 60 that you can match a speedo and taco next to each other and right down to the 48, which is a super tiny speedo and taco setup only. Um, you can't get these ones with dash lights, but a really good option for choppers and bobbers or really vintage bikes where you don't want all of that clutter and mess on your dash. Now, the reason we like these so much, uh, which I mentioned before, is their robustness. So we've used a lot of different brands of custom dashes, aftermarket stuff from all over. Um, and then a lot of the times, the issues that we found, they were coming back from customers. We were having them come back on our custom bikes because the dashes would fall out of calibration uh, with your speedo. They would get interference with the taco readouts and all that sort of stuff. Where Daytona have a lot of accessories and functionality that eliminate a lot of those issues. So we found that these to be the sort of most reliable aftermarket dash that we've used. You'll see them on a lot of our custom bikes in a bunch of different configurations. As I mentioned before, they've got a lot of different sizes. So 48 being the smallest, they've got a 60 mil size, an 80 mil size. The Daytona Cube is a new product that they've come out with just recently. Really compact digital dash setup. You get a speedo and taco, uh, also a voltmeter included in there in one. They don't come with a dash, so you sort of have to pair that with the alpha or beta micro indicators, which is a small little unit with an LED set up for your dash cluster. Got your left and right indicators, high and low beam lights, all that sort of stuff with there. The most complex of their range that we stock is the Diva. Really good modern option for your sort of retro races, uh, like I said, scrambler bikes, when you really need to have a slim profile and tuck it behind maybe a headlight or a small uh, bikini fairing or something like that. And then coming into the real classic style cafe racer stuff, I'd probably say our Daytona Valona 60s are the ones that we use most because you can have a really nice setup with the dash lights included in the speedometer and paired next to a taco. It looks really good over the top triple clamp there with a nice set of uh, clip-on bars. Bobbers and choppers, I think that definitely the 48 is the way to go. Ultra simple, there's no dash lights or anything, really bare bones setup, but a really, really good, reliable option. When it comes to your speedo pickups and rev counters, there's instructions in the box that show you how to set it up, how to link it into your motorcycle's wiring loom or your custom loom if you're going that way with it. And then the speedometer pickups, they do have a range of factory mounts that might link into your uh, speedo gearbox or wheel drive off your factory setup. We most often use this small little magnetic pickup. So, the difference with the Daytona setup is it'll pick up on any magnetic bolt. So you don't have to have a magnet glued onto your disc brake or your rear sprocket or anything like that. You can just set it up to pick up on your rotor bolts. And as long as they're not aluminium, they'll pick up on that. So it makes things really simple to set up and it gives you a lot of options. You can set it up on your front sprocket, on your rear sprocket, your rear disc, any rotating part on your motorcycle. We've set them up on the inside of hubs before, which is really handy uh, when you're sort of limited for space there and you wanna have a really clean setup with minimal cables off your front end or whatever. 
When it comes to calibrating your speedometer, they also have a number of options. So all of these gauges have three functions inside when it comes to trying to calibrate your speedo. You can either get your bike up to speed, uh, set it, which is the one that we use most often. You just mount a GPS speedo, which you can get as a phone app. Um, mount that up on your dash, go for a ride and set it to the speed when you're going at 40 kilometers an hour it is. You can also set it with the circumference of your tire and the distance traveled, that's another option. And then the last calibration is a distance calibration where you ride a certain distance, stop, pull over, press the button and then that'll auto calibrate your speedo as well. So a number of different options depending on your application guys. Ultra simple to use, like I say, really robust for any 12 volt system on your motorcycle. They don't work on six volt setups, unfortunately, but I mean, 90% of bikes nowadays, if they have a six volt system, you're converting them if you're restoring or customizing them anyway. If you do have any questions, anything further, make sure you check out our product listings. We have a bunch of details, wiring diagrams in there, so you can make sure that these products will work on your motorcycle. Check that out first. If the information is not there, you can get in touch with us if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your projects, guys. We'll see you next time.